with. Poppy is a great matchup into, Fi into Fiora. And then the Mundo, if you throw that in jungle, if you throw it top, it's still okay. But if you throw it in the jungle, you now have somebody who peels top lane. Your jungler is now somebody who slows and creates this gigantic line. It's like what he's heading towards. Yeah. Give me and Chuck Normus again, trying to get some damage onto Requiem. The poor guy's taking so much. Ignite, the heal is baited out. And Chuck Normus takes a bit of Ignite as revenge. There oh. goes her Korea bread as he jumps in. Every opportunity that he has, and even playing patiently. Don't kill me, K. Oh, he's got to oh. be careful. Oh, forced to flash away. And Texas A&M down just a bit in gold. As Chuck Normus continues to put out pressure with his early tier. X Requiem doesn't have the heal. Ooh. First blood, Chuck Normus, no respect. Hey, they're picking on that lane. And I would not be surprised if they just kept pulling Korea bread in mid and bot. Uh-oh, yeah, they're trying to get the kill onto Lawzer Z. He's taken a lot of damage. Will they be able to catch up? Equi Here Epic Shots is looking for it. The damage is enough. They're finally able to get the kill. Vincent Wu trying to take down Korea Bread, but here comes Forgive Me. Not level 6 just yet, and Vincent forced to flash away. So you'll come down to basically auto-attacking and hoping you can finish the egg off. Wu Huaring looks for the stun. Oh. The moment it's used, Don't oh. Kill Me pulls the trigger. Remember, Huaring still has flash. The last auto attack is going to catch up any second. Now he just needs it. No, not quite able to get it, but Don't Kill Me K, does he have the damage? He is able to get the solo kill in top lane. Revenge for game one. It ended up being a really terrible situation there, but Vincent Wu? Oh. oh, a little bit of BM from Don't Kill Me K. Oh, even trying to recall under... But he's just baiting him, because here comes Epic Shots. Yeah, lots of damage comes across. Remember, he's got no flash. Epic Shots gets a kill. Yeah, the vision control of University of Texas, they can't be making those types of moves and going that far forward if you don't see what's going on on the rest of the map. You can see, even in the river, I want to say that the University of Texas has three wards down total right now. One in the top lane, and Ooh. two in that bot side. True Shot Barrage goes wide, but Fifty Shades of Kappa continues to take punishment as... well. That's the question, but Lawzers yeah. has flash again, but... He, he's going to be going into cold just a second, not even going to burn his flash, as yet another kill is tossed over to Texas A&M. Doesn't quite land his lunge, as Chuck Normus is going to take a lot of damage here. Wild Growth tries to stall the Ignite out. Do they quite have enough? True Shot Barrage is available. Down. There goes the TP on the far side, as Don't Kill Me K looks to join. Flash Exhaust finds Requiem. True Shot Barrage, it's Epic Shots, in fact, who joins up. They're going to be able to get that kill. Forgive me, secures God. it. Epic Shots has had some really good walls in this game. Comes some not, damage. Vincent Wu is looking for it. Warring Doe is going to take some damage here. Vincent dodges number one. Here comes Let's Lulzers. Flash and Lunge. Are they going to dive it? No. Miss coordination. Difficult for University of Texas. Ooh. Teleport is used and canceled. A little stack faster. They're expecting a much earlier time on when that's completed to the Muramana. Still brawling, though. This. I expect this to be a kill on the Don't Kill Me K. He doesn't have flash, but no, still nothing. They're, oh, yeah, no! Yeah, Vincent flashes, misses the snap cast. A little bit of mastery spam for some BM, but Don't Kill Me K is stunned against the wall. <laughs> he got two flashes out of him, though. So Don't Kill Me K goes down without his flash for two flashes in return. And it's going to be so hard to reach this Anivia, too. How do you stop this Anivia if you're this team? Maybe you just kill her. Yeah, Snare here. might be the way to do it, but he does so much damage along with Korea Bread. Vincent looking for epic shots. Wall tries to stop Warring from coming for the flank. Forgive me joins up, and Vincent forced to run away. Glitter Lance, Vincent dodges some damage. Stun is going to find him. Will they be able to get the kill? Not quite, as they just walk away satisfied with their kill on the Lalzers. Game, a 50 minute game, and be 100% fine with that. Whoa, Requiem takes a true shot. There's a shield to try to keep him safe in case Chuck Normus TP. has got anything cheeky. Let's see if they're going to be able to catch up. Flash knockoff. He flashes forward. Not able to get the arcane shift. Finally, he breaks free, but Lalzers provides chase. Ducks into the bush, but Lalzers gets the kill. Yeah, gets both summoner spells out of Chuck Normus for his own two summoner spells on Lalzers. But so if they're warding, left a lot to be desired. But yeah, flash wall. Oh, Vincent. Not quite able to do it. Korea Bread looking for some more action. There's the grand challenge. Horang Do, not quite a worthy opponent. You see University of Texas trying to break down this mid tier Ooh. one, but. Korea Bread, whoa, overextending just a bit. Flash, Wild Growth gets him to safety without popping his Cell Division passive. There's the TP as well, so here's the flank. Yeah, they're looking for Lalzers. They're going to find him. He gets destroyed, and now they've targeted Vincent. He does not have Flash. Stun finds him and locks him down. Double kill for Chuck Normus, 3-1-1. One, and one. It's now 5v3 in the mid lane. Epic Shots is really good at League of Legends. Yeah, second. Yeah, he He's might be. He's maxing it. That's some huge width. They find X Requiem. 
Korea Bread tries to get the kill. He Monsoon keeping him alive for now. It's double revive passive for Texas A&M. The stun is going to find it, but Epic Shots can't quite commit to it. And he's just zoning away. That's two turrets and two kills for A&M when it's all said and done. They're going to be able to secure it. Oh, Korea Bread not quite able to get into the enemy team. Doesn't find the steal either. Warang Do gets chunked down. Snapcast finds three, but he's not able to get any follow-up. They are able to get the kill. Epic Shots is going huge right now, just straight into the enemy lines, and they are able to get yet another kill. Don't Kill Me K is looking for the flash auto double kill for Don't Kill Me K. They're looking for the shutdown on the Walzers. This is just cleanup crew for a and 14 to 2. Make this even larger. Of course, Epic, <laughs> epic Shots, oh though. Epic Shots. He doesn't have his egg anymore, trying to dodge the AoE damage. It's slowly burning through, but Forgive Me keeps him standing. They're looking for the Baron down to 3,000 health. Here comes Warring Doe. He's got oh. Flash. Can he get in there? He's able to get the shutdown on the Epic Shots, but everybody is evacuating the pit, and Korea Bread is left behind. They're trying to collapse from the side. Don't kill me, K. He's going to trade his life so everyone else on his team can get out. Cell Division is popped. In the end, that's three kills handed over to Free for University of Texas, but A&M still have the Baron. Exactly. They have the Baron on two members still. The Ice Fist plus Monomune stacking for Chuck Normus. They're going to try to get onto this turret. Dash forward. They're finding the stun onto Vincent. The wall not quite enough this time around. Instead of A&M just run down mid lane. Yeah, Vincent Wu and Requiem are both bottom. This is going to be a turret going down. You can't siege break this at all. Epic Shots and the rest of the team pick that up. They're going to pick up an inhibitor here too. Requiem, he's just trying to pick up farm and it's going to cost his team an inhibitor. I don't even think they could have defended this anyway though. Yeah. Just based off of comp and based off of the power that Everybody on this team has. A huge lapse in judgment gives oh, it over whoa. for free. Requiem's not quite paying attention. Too close. And Don't Kill Me K pulls the trigger, not quite able to find the grand challenge, but they dive in from the back. Requiem's going to be caught. There he goes, trying to get the kill. He finally is able to secure it. Meanwhile, Epic Shots and Chuck Normus running for their lives against three scary members. Finally, they're able to shut down one, but Chuck Normus is still alive. They are able to bring down Huarang Do. Looking for Vincent Wu now. Exhaust stalls it out, but he's going to be dropped. The sole survivor, 50 Shades of Kappa, Rise is running to his aid, but it's too little too late. A&M have got this game in the palm of their hand. And they just cleave right through these. Yeah, it's four versus two right now. Another 10 seconds. No, actually, they did just get X Requiem who spawned. He dashes in for Chuck Normus. Gets a little bit too far forward. Korea Bread has to jump back. Drew Chopper oh. dodge. They're trying to get in. The knockup doesn't quite find it. Korea Bread takes it culling. He's finally going to end up dropping to the AoE. They need to get the inhibitor or back away. And it looks like they're going to be content to back away as the Baron Up minions slowly oh, it. whittle it down. Don't kill me, K. Tries to get a kill, but he's going to be dropped in the minions. Oh, they're not quite oh, the able banner. to get it. That banner of command minion is doing some serious work. He was distracted. Though. The driver, get him. <laughs> take, take away his license. He's looking for the inhib. Where's the inhib? I need to get there. <laughs> is this blue man the inhib? <laughs> Crowd of minions, go through him. Ten points. That's why they're called inhibitors. They yeah. inhibit your super minions from being created. Uh-oh, Warring Doe takes a bit of punishment. That's a lot of punishment, in fact. Epic shots. Tries to chunk him out. That's so much damage. Yeah, and the flash away, but here comes the red buff. Requiem, though, Ooh, He's little been landing so many stuns, however. The rest of his team is on the other side of the map. Anivia just went 1v... 1v5. Yeah, but nobody can reach him, right? Damage by themselves. And there's no longer a Baron buff. Don't kill me, K gets pivoted into the enemy team. Knockup is going to try to keep him alive. Banner minion working on the turret. Don't kill me, K. He's trying to get out of there. No flash. He finally lunges to safety as Korea Bread is zoned in the front. He's taking quite a bit of damage. One versus five flashes the wall, and there's nothing UT can do. But what that was worth was that bottom inhibitor because Epic Shots was still going. And now they're going to try and re-engage. Oh, Monsoon once again stalls out the fight. The knockups have been excellent. Korea Bread. Oh, he gets his cell division in time. They're going to look for Don't Kill Me, K who shows himself over the wall. Riposte is buying oh. so much time. They're finally going to be able to get these two kills as Forgive Me and Chuck Normus are running. But there's an Anivia in the base working on the Nexus turrets. Chuck Normus might finally go down. The axe is going to cleave him to bits. Yeah, so meanwhile, Epic Shots gets himself an inhibitor. He gets himself one of the base turrets. Vision. Epic Shots might have found Warring Doe. He splits them off from the rest of his team. He's stunned against the walls. He's going to take a full culling here, but they're able to come to his aid. Warring Doe with the Snapcast. He's still alive for now. Chuck Normus is doing damage over the wall. Don't kill me, K. Tries to get in. He flashes, but Ignite burns him down. He's finally going to drop his Korea threat. Joins into the enemy team in addition, and University of Texas are winning this fight. They're kiting it out properly, and Epic Shots is just zoning away. But it looked like a divided fight there, and Warring Doe not the Baron, go the for it dying just yet. This time they've got the wall. Vincent is caught. He's taking a lot of damage. Stun locks him down. He's taking quite a bit. No flash. He does have his flash. He's finally going to drop wow. to Chuck Normus. Such a good pick off there. The Morello Nomicon from Epic Shots. It 
kicking in eventually. Yeah, they're finally going to start the Baron off and tread through it so very quickly. There's nothing UT can do. Make sure that they're on top again, because Texas A&M, you know, they have a history of winning this matchup against University of Texas in League of Legends. Not always in football, but this is how they get their revenge. See if they can beat them on the rift. 10,000 gold up. Can they win this next fight and then close out the game? Yeah, looking for the inhibitor right now. Slowly whittling it down with those barrened up minions as Chuck Normus provides poke along with epic shots. They're trying to burn it through. They might have caught X Requiem though. He zones from the side as Don't Kill Me gets into the front, finds Lawsers, chunks him down the half. There's no turrets for him to run to. Don't Kill Me is going to end up dropping a snap cast onto Chuck Normus. That's the target they need to go for. Whoring is not going to be able to get him on the far side. Vincent Wu, the Morellas is doing so much work. Same thing for 50 Shades as he He's burning as well. Cell Division is popped by Korea Bread. It's one for two right now. Chuck Normus is going down. Epic Shots gets the wall. Is he going to be able to get that oh. kill? He does. Shutdown secured. It's three versus two right now. They're looking to end the game. The Nexus is the primary target for AM, and they are almost certainly going to take it. Vincent Wu goes down. It's so vital that we see that body on the far side. It's two to zero for Texas A&M winning this 100-plus-year-old rivalry this year.